Hi, my name is Ryan with Park Industries Customer Service Support. Today we're going to show you guys how to do the blade test cut or known as the one inch square, one inch square cut. Um, one thing we notice we want to have a fairly uh, medium sized remnant, uh, vanity size will work. Um, just to go over the screen, we're going to be in setup. Uh, what we're using is this box here for the blade offset cut, but we also want to pay attention to our blade setup. I know multiple shops have multiple tools. We want to make sure we have the correct blade selected for this. Also, we want to make sure that we have an approximate idea of what the kerf is. Um, you can measure the blade teeth itself. I always measure in the stone. Um, <clears throat> the offset number is what we're going to capture. The X, Y axis speed, that's the inches, that's going to be our feed rate. The Z is going to be our plunge, and then we have our spindle RPMs, depending on the size of blade we're using. We have the 18 inch terminator on, and the RPM, suggested RPMs that we use is 1250 on that. And we're not going to adjust the inches per minute or the Z because those are also the feed rates that we set that blade up to. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to activate our pendant. We're going to come over here. We're going to look at where the, about the approximate center of our blade is. So, about approximate center, and it's going to make the first cut that way. And then it's going to cut the square out, so it's going to be a strip like this on the stone. So if I look out there, stand back, I can see that I'm approximately over the stone. I always tell people double check your water, make sure you have it on the correct one. So we'll go ahead, once we have everything where we need it to be, we're going to go ahead and shut these off. No more alarms, we're going to hit the perform one inch test cut. So now that we completed our one inch test cut, we're going to take our piece, we're going to clean it up, blow the air off of it, or blow the air on it to get the water off and dry it off. Then we're going to take our caliper, we're going to go and measure this. So I got 0.9575, I'm going to spin it around. Then I got 0.61. 0.961. So let's just go back and double check. 0.958. So I'm going to take those two numbers, which was 0.961 and add. 0.958 and I'm going to just divide that by 2. I'm going to get the average. So then I'm going to go to my setup. I'm going to change this number to 0 0.9595. 0 0.960 becomes a new blade offset value. Now you just to confirm you can run this program again just to double check what uh, <clears throat> to make sure that all your parameters are correct. 